the story of a suspicious package brought to a police station in Hope, or rather to the police in Hoboken uh, yesterday. But once it was open, any sense of danger turned to delight. CBS 2's Tony Aiello reports now on the statue returned. No idea. The package wrapped in plain brown paper made Father Alex Santora a touch suspicious. The fact that it was not addressed to a person, that there was no return address, and it was not a package packed by a company, it was done by a person. So those were some red flags for me. The pastor of Our Lady of Grace called Hoboken police, who determined there was nothing explosive inside. But when an officer carefully opened the box, there was something unexpected. The first thing he found was the anonymous letter. This letter, explaining why the sender was returning a baby Jesus statue stolen from the church in the 1930s. I think it was a young kid who may have taken it on a dare. The more important thing is that somebody in that family knew the story and still returned it after almost 90 years. Of course, no one here remembers anything about a statue stolen long ago. The origins are lost to the mists of time. The letter says after the baby Jesus was taken in the 1930s, quote, it came into my grandfather's possession somehow, and I don't know why he didn't return it. Instead, he gave it to my mother, and she too kept it until her passing. Knowing the story, I felt it should be returned to the rightful owner. I think it's a sign that God has graced them to do the right thing. The church sets up a large nativity scene every Christmas right here in front of the St. Joseph altar. And this coming Christmas, this baby Jesus will have the place of honor. Will it fit into your nativity? It's almost exactly the same. This baby Jesus will be home for the holidays. In Hoboken, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. Now, the only clue on the package was a tracking number, which indicates it was mailed from the post office in Crystal Springs, Florida, that's located outside of Tampa.